What's up guys, it's TechnoViking23, coming to you today with some Destiny. I uh, just uh, taking a little break here from the Iron Banner to try to jump in and get my weekly Heroic Strikes finished. So just kind of sit here in orbit waiting around to see what's going on. Um, anyway, just a quick update this week. I have been playing the Iron Banner and actually enjoying it so far. Uh, the special weapon ammunition changes they've made in the Crucible have really made it uh, a lot more enjoyable for players like me who like to use their primary weapon quite a bit. So really been enjoying the, the uh, Iron Banner this time around. I'm almost to rank 3. Uh, probably hit rank 4 of my Titan just so I can buy the two armor pieces and then I'm probably going to switch over to my Warlock or my Hunter for the rest of the event uh, because I actually um, already have the weapons in Iron Banner so I just need to get the armor for my other two characters. So overall going pretty well so far. I've been pretty much positive almost every game I've played and my KD's really moving up on my Titan so so far it has been a lot of fun. Uh, but anyways, what I want to talk to you guys today, obviously there was a Bungie Weekly update, and we had the Trials of Osiris reveal uh, earlier this week. Now, I'm actually going to be doing a separate video on that later. I am still, uh, unlike a lot of the, some of the Destiny fanboys out there, you know, I didn't really enjoy the Osiris reveal that much. I'm not really excited about that game mode, and there's a lot of reasons why, but I'm, I'm going to save that for later. I tried to make a video on it yesterday, and probably tried seven or eight times and I just could not get through without being like just super negative and super depressed about Charles of Osiris. So I'm going to wait till the weekend, think about it a little bit and calm down a little bit and then probably post my thoughts on that and do a little commentary. But I do have some thoughts on that, but I'm going to save those for later. Anyways, what I did want to talk about something somewhat positive is that there are some upcoming changes to uh, PvP that they're going to be making with patch uh, 1.0. Uh, two, which is going to actually come out before uh, House of Wolves releases on the 19th. So some some really uh, some really good looking stuff here. And uh, what we're going to start with is that there are going to be a lot of new rewards in the Crucible. Or not new rewards, but just uh, the way the rewards in the Crucible work are going to be changing. So for us PvP players that enjoy the, the PvP in Destiny, we have a lot to be looking forward to actually with the new patch that's going to be coming out before the House of Wolves. Uh, now, one thing is the um, the Crucible is going to have better rewards, uh, just in general. You are going to have better rewards dropping with more frequency in the Crucible. Uh, they are adding 12 new legendary weapons, apparently, and items that are going to be dropping in the Crucible, so that'll be interesting if that's, like, actual, uh, you know, like, weapons and armor, or if it's just engrams that are going to drop, I don't know, but I'm hoping that's going to be some cool new Crucible-themed legendary items that that are going to be dropping there, so that'll, that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, also, the, the top level players on the leaderboard are going to have a much better chance of actually um, getting getting gear and getting items in the Crucible, so that is, that is a much needed change, so if you finish at the top of the leaderboard, you're no longer going to um, have to worry about not getting rewarded. It's going to actually give you quite a bit of rewards higher frequency for finishing at the top of the leaderboard. So I know a lot of people have been uh, complaining about that fact. That's one of the things they don't enjoy about Crucible, so hopefully uh, that will um, allow people to, uh, to play more PvP. It'll encourage people to play a little bit more uh, PvP. Now, if you are on the bottom of the leaderboard, you still will get uh, get items. It's not, it's not necessarily that you're not going to get anything from playing bad, but it's just that the people who finish at the top of the leaderboard are going to have just a better chance at getting those rewards in general. So that is um, one thing that's going to be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to that. I'm not a great uh, PvP player, but I do go positive most of the time and often finish um, pretty near the top of the leaderboard. So I'm hoping that means I'll be able to get some uh, some better gear and some better items that drop in the Crucible. Uh, now the cool thing also too about this is that the Daily Crucible mission, if you guys notice on the left side of your uh, map every day when you go in to play Destiny where the weekly and daily activities are. There's always a Crucible mode there that gives a little bit of extra um, experience. Now, if you actually do that that um, if you do that mission, that Crucible mission to get a little bit of extra um, a little bit of extra experience, you will actually get a daily reward package uh, from the Crucible now. Kind of like those public event packages that you can get. Kind of like the packages you get when you level up from uh, your factions. 
you'll actually get one now uh, for doing that daily crucible mission, which is pretty cool. Now that package is going to have a variety of items. It's going to have some coins to use for uh, at Brother Vance, who's the Trials of Osiris vendor in the Reef, to buy some items to go along with that. Uh, some buffs and some other things to help you out in Trials of Osiris. Uh, they're also we're going to drop motes of light. I'm assuming probably strange coins and things like that. Glimmer, you know, all the the, the stuff you pretty much can get from the daily the daily mission uh, packages as it stands right now. So that's a pretty cool change that's coming. Uh, exciting to see that they're added. They're definitely, you know, at least trying to make PvP a little bit more enjoyable and a little bit more uh, attractive to people. So that is cool. That's going to be a lot of fun. Really looking forward to that. Uh, the other changes they're going to be making with patch 1.2, uh, you are going to be able to now get double marks and double reputation for a Crucible when you play any of the Crucible matches. Uh, so, like now, you know, you get three marks for a win and two for a loss. Now you'll get four for a loss and six for a win, so that's pretty cool. Uh, definitely going to help you rank up a little bit faster because my one complaint right now is I do play a lot of Crucible, and it's just really difficult to to really get those marks and grind those marks out. It takes a long time if you're trying to, uh, to get a, a, a certain weapon from one of your factions or or anything like that. It tends to take, can take a little bit of time to actually go through and level that up. And, uh, and get those marks. So it'll be nice to get a little bit more reputation and things like that. So looking forward to that. There's some good changes overall to the way the rewards are going to work in the Crucible. So uh, pretty pretty good uh, pretty good little update. Now you're also going to have Iron Banner is going to have some changes to it. You actually will have uh, the Etheric Light, which is going to be a new upgrade material in the Dark Bull or not the Dark Bull in House of Wolves. It's a new upgrade material that basically is going to allow you to ascend your weapons uh, up to the new House of Wolves level. So if you have those older legendaries from before the Dark Below, if you have legendaries from the Dark Below that you want to raise up to that 365 attack level with weapons, or you want to bring the armor up to level 34, you will be able to do that uh, with the Etheric Light. It's going to drop an Iron Banner. Uh, it will drop at rank 3 and rank 5. So I believe what that means is you're going to get one automatically for completing those ranks in Iron Banner, which uh, which is pretty nice. That's pretty cool. So that is another nice change. Now, something also for some of you who did not buy the DLC, uh, they actually are going to be putting the Dark Below DLC Crucible maps uh, into House of Wolves with patch 1.2. Anyone who has not uh, bought the House of... Or, or bought the Dark Below will have those... Uh, PvP maps uh, for free, so that'll that'll let you uh, allow you to play those, which will be pretty nice. That way, uh, that that'll make hopefully the playlist a little bit more populated as people will have access to the maps and just be able to play them, which uh, that that's good overall too. So we want more people to be able to play PvP because right now uh, the PvP population in Destiny isn't that great, and I don't I don't think it's going to be getting a lot better, especially with some of the stuff going on in Trials of Osiris. But uh, we'll talk about that in a later video. As I said, uh, that's pretty much it uh, for the update. You know, some really nice PvP changes that are coming. Like I said, this is some uh, some nice, nice, a uh, little bit of nice work on Bungie's part here. I'll give them credit. Like I said, you know, I give them credit where it's due, and I criticize them when it's due. So, not going to be negative all the time. So, I'm, I'm very happy with a lot of these changes, and people are probably surprised at that. But it's going to be nice to, uh, like I said, to be a little bit less of a grind in the Crucible, and also to get a little bit better loot drops uh, when you're playing Crucible. So. Uh, no, no complaints here. That's uh, that's gonna be pretty cool. Anyways, guys, it's been Techno Viking 23, just bringing you some of the weekly update news for Destiny this week and some of the changes coming with the new patch that we'll be dropping before the House of Wolves expansion. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll be doing probably a Zer video uh, coming up uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, at this point, I think we're getting pretty much uh, Zerd out in terms of what Zer has. He, it's not like he's gonna be bringing anything crazy good. I don't think he's gonna have Yallerhorn or Thunderlord or thing but one can hope and uh, you know we'll do the video and for some of your newer guys who are still getting used to destiny I will of course get my thoughts on all the inf all the exotics and everything else that he has uh, if you have any most alike this week you're probably using them on iron banner for weapon reforges so um, maybe Zer he might may or may not have that exotic in room he normally does or he might not be able to get that this week since I know a lot of people like to reforge those guns over and over again until they get a good weapon that they really like uh, so anyways, guys, that's going to do it for me. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you guys are having fun this week. It's almost the weekend, so hang in there. Anyways, guys, it's been TechnoViking23 uh, from the Cosmodrome on Earth signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again next time.